어서 와서 vs. 으니까 Both are reasons. What's the difference? First, 어서 와서 comes from 그래서 which literally means so, therefore. And it is used when it's a neutral cause and effect based on facts. Just neutral factual cause and effect. Cause, 어서 와서 So, result, effect. A, so, B. A, 어서 와서 B. Important. This is only used in statements to talk about neutral facts. You cannot use 어서 와서 in comments or suggestions. And 어서 와서 is tenseless. Even if you're talking about the past, you just use 어서 와서 without past tense suffix because the tense will be marked at the end of that sentence with the past tense. Whereas 으니까 is subjective reasoning. It might not necessarily be actual reason, but that's what I think. I think that's the reason. Subjective is 으니까. And when you want to give a reason for suggestion, recommendation, or a comment, you always use 으니까, not 어서 와서. And if it is used in a statement, it's more subjective of what I think is why, rather than just neutral cause and fact, reporting what happened. Let's look at this. 날씨가 좋다. Weather to be good, dictionary form. And in the present tense, you'll say 날씨가 좋아요. Look at this sentence. 날씨가 좋아요. 그래서 소풍 갔어요. 소풍 picnic 갔어요 went. The weather is nice or even if it was the weather was nice. 날씨가 좋았어요. 그래서 소풍 갔어요. When you want to combine these two sentences and make one complex sentence, 좋아요, delete 요, and then just put 서 from this, 그래서, 날씨가 좋아서 소풍 갔어요. The weather was good, so we went on a picnic. I personally recommend my students translate this as A, so B, because the word order is opposite when you translate also as as because. I went on a picnic because the weather was good. So a lot of English speakers mix up cause and effect because the word order is opposite. So I really recommend that you remember this as A, so, B. And this past tense, 날씨가 좋았어요, you also just change to 어서 와서 without past tense suffix. So you wouldn't say 날씨가 좋았어서. No. Nope. It should be tenseless. 날씨가 좋아서 소풍 갔어요. Okay, let's keep 날씨가 좋다, the weather, to be good, dictionary form. And now I want to suggest something. Then you will use 으니까 now. 으니까, consonant, 으니까, vowel. 니까. So, 날씨가 좋으니까. Let's go on a picnic. 소풍 가자. 반말이에요. 존댓말은, to be polite to suggest, you just use 어요아요 form. 소풍 가요. 날씨가 좋으니까 소풍 가요. Can I say 날씨가 좋아서 소풍 가자? No. Nope. 아니요. Suggestion, 으니까. So, if you said, 날씨가 좋아서 소풍 가요. People will automatically understand it as the weather is nice. So we are going on a picnic as just regular statement. If you want to suggest, you have to use 으니까. Same thing with recommending or commending something. 날씨가 좋으니까 you go on a picnic. 소풍 가. You don't use 자. 자 is when we are doing it together. 날씨가 좋으니까 소풍 가. You go on a picnic. In a polite comment, we use 으세요 form. 
So, 가세요. 날씨가 좋으니까 소풍 가세요. So, polite way to suggest, uh, comment something. Why don't you go on a picnic because the weather is really nice. 심심하다. To be bored. There's nothing to do. I'm bored. 심심해요. 심심해요. 그래서 런닝맨 볼 거예요. 심심해요. You delete 요 and change it to 서. 심심해서 런닝맨 볼 거예요. I am bored. So, I am going to watch Running Man. You can also talk about the past. Just change the sentence ending to the past tense. 심심해서 Running Man 봤어요. I was bored, so I watched Running Man. Just change the end of the sentence. You do not have to put past tense suffix within 어서 와서. It's tenseless. What if we are going to suggest something? 심심하다 plus 으니까 becomes 심심하니까. And when you change it to 심심하니까, this 심심하다 becomes a reason for what comes after. Because you are bored, 심심하니까, 런닝맨 보세요. In a polite way. 존댓말이에요. So comment, suggesting something, you use 으니까. You can suggest, let's watch Running Man together because we are bored. 심심하니까, 런닝맨 보자. 반말. 런닝맨 봐요. 존댓말. 비가 오다. To rain. For rain to come. 비가 오다. What's 아 어요 for? 오 plus 아, because they're both bright vowels, you match. 비가 와요. 그래서 집에 있었어요. It's raining. So, I stayed home. You want to combine these two sentences to make a complex sentence. 비가 와요. You change this 요 to 서. 비가 와서 집에 있었어요. It rained, so, or it is raining, so, 집에 있었어요. I stayed home. Let's stay home because it's raining. 비가 오다 plus 으니까. 오 ends with a vowel, so you do not need 으. 비가 오니까. Let's stay home. 반말 to friends. 집에 있자. 비 오니까 집에 있자. 존댓말, suggestion, just 어요 아요. 비 오니까 집에 있어요. Let's just stay home. You can recommend or give commands. It's raining. Just stay home. You stay home. 비 오니까 집에 있어. Regular 어 아 form can be used for all four sentence types. Statement, question, suggestion, comment. And of course, there will be more usages if you are more advanced learners. You saw weird usages of these two, but these are the bottom line. I suggest use also also for statement, basically, and use 은니까 for suggestion and comment. 은니까 is not often used in statements unless it's a particular context. I also have this video about when to use 은니까. If you want to know a little more in depth about 은니까 usages, check this video out. Now, make a sentence. Number one, tell me what you did today and why you did it using 어서 아서. Reason, 어서 아서, result. For example, 숙제가 많아서 공부했어요. 숙제가 많아서 바빴어요. 숙제가 많아서 숙제했어요. 피곤해서 쉬었어요. 퇴근한 다음에 아무 계획도 없었어. 그냥 침대에서 책을 읽었어요. 어젯밤에 늦게 잤어. 오늘 아침에 큰 커피를 샀어요. 2번, number 2. Suggest something to me. 저 심심해요. 뭐 할까요? For example, 선생님 심심하니까 영화 보세요. Or watch Running Man because it's funny. 웃기니까 Running Man 보세요. 저도 신선한 공기가 필요하니까 
같이 공원에 있는 사슴에게 먹이를 주는 게 어때요? 이제 거의 가을이니까 날씨가 좋아질 때 산책하세요. 문장 쓰면 연습이 되니까 꼭 문장 쓰세요. 오늘도 비디오 봐주셔서 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요.